So what's going on guys, kids here, welcome back to a brand new video and today I'll show you the top 7 best parkour maps in Fortnite Creative. In today's list you'll be able to see a huge lava course, huge maze escaping parkour map, 5 dimension death run and much more. And like per usual guys, stick till the end of this video because for every map I'll give you a specific review and a code. So you know which maps are the best, what are the specific rules for every single map, all the tips and tricks that you should use to spend your time efficiently and enjoy it the most. And on top of all that, if you want to find even more parkour maps, head over to fortnitecreativehq.com and check them out for yourself. With that said, let's get right into it. So taking a look at the first one, this is a Lost Crew Parkour 2099 map, which has average difficulty with puzzle parkour and different 15 levels. Each level is specifically different and of course unique. By going further down the line, the difficulty will increase, but with that you'll be able to enjoy it even more. This map has a futuristic style, so it's about 100 years in the future. The map's whole theme is that you are on Mars or something like that, and you have to escape by doing different parkour jumps. Like per usual, all the traps, bounce pads and other things will try to slow you down or eliminate you, so be look out for that. And on top of all that, you can invite up to 4 friends, and if you want to even add more adventure and just difficulty, Overall, you can collect 10 hidden coins, who you'll be able to find in every single level. This map has a 10 out of 10 map design, it looks really good and if you want to have some fun by yourself or with friends, this is the perfect map exactly for this. Have you ever played a pixel parkour map? If you haven't, then here it is. Because whenever we take a look at the second map, here it is, a huge pixel 5 level and five different biome parkour map. This is not your average parkour map, but it's really unique and with special design. First things first, it has puzzle and death run elements. So most of the time you will not know where the next level is. You will need to use every single item and furniture that you'll be able to see. And on top of all that, a lot of times, a lot of rooms will be in dark. You'll not be able to see the next block you need to jump through. You'll be thrown in the huge city and you'll need to find the right house with the right doors to go through the next level and even more challenges. So like you can tell, a really hard, but in my opinion, really unique and awesome map that you can play in. If you're bored of all the normal parkour courses, they are too easy or too hard, none of them have a good design or something unique, then this is the perfect unique map, which is really different from others. Taking a look at the next map, here is a full trap free for all parkour map. First things first, PVP is enabled. So if you want some bring friends and add some difficulty, you can definitely do this. But on top of all that, every single thing you'll be able to see will be most of the time a trap. So this is a full on trap course in which you will need to use a lot of skills and different items like grapplers, jump pads and bounce pads. There will be about 20 to 25 levels. Each of them of course will be different and going further down the line, the difficulty will of course increase. People who really like speedrunning in general and just completing really fast courses with really hard and added difficulty most of the time, this is the best map exactly for speedrunning. Not only it's hard, but of course you can put a timer on it. So challenge yourself and add some difficulty. And this map 100% is made for your skill. So if you are bored of all the puzzle maps, trying to, you know, escape something or trying to find something, you want just a normal and hard parkour map, then here it is. Okay, so taking a look at the next map. This is really simple, but again, really similar to the previous map with bunch of traps, but this one is in a huge maze puzzle map. So not only you will need to find things, best passageways, secret tips and tricks that will help you to go through the next levels. And on top of all that, most of the time you will be with the ice or something else. So it's like purely maze parkour map with traps and sliding implemented. So having said that, if you're the opposite guy exactly from the previous map, if you don't want anything simple, you want to search for stuff, and add a harder and unique difficulty, then this is the exactly map for that. It has not only normal traps and normal parkour jumps, but like I previously mentioned, sliding and different things like jump pads and bounce pads will add the difficulty and make it even more fun. But sadly, you can only play by yourself. So going over to the fifth map on my list, it is a lava parkour map. Have you ever played floor is lava or something like that when you were a child? Probably already all of you have said yes. So here, in regards for that mini game, the map has been made. You can't touch anything that is a normal orange block, aka lava. If you touch it, that's it, you die and start over. So in my opinion, that will add difficulty and make it even more fun. And on top of all that, this is a multiplayer parkour course. So if you want to play it, you can do it with your friends up to 16. You can either way use teamwork or try to sabotage each other. 
And of course, the biggest thing about this map is that it's not too easy and not too hard, so it has an average difficulty and 99% of all players should complete it without any problem. This map is really fun and has a unique design. And with that said, now we have come to one of the last maps, which is Rainbow Car Parkour. Yeah, probably all of you already are freaking out. This is a separated topic for that, but you're wrong because this map is specifically made for parkour with cars. So this is not a normal or average parkour course with cars, but this is specifically one which every single second you'll need to jump, do different things exactly with parkour and using different cars. And top of all that, like you can tell, you can as well play it with your friends or by yourself. You can challenge each other and see who will be the fastest. Of course, the map will have a really difficult jumps, but in my opinion, when I played it with my friends, I enjoyed it a lot, but sadly there are no respawn points. So whenever you die or fall out, that's it, you start over. Okay, so for all the newbies and new players who are really bad at parkour, I wanted to put in the last spot the map which is really easy and will try to help you with parkour in general. So either way, if you want to win some money by completing parkour courses and speedrunning them, you want to do and complete scissors 2.0 maps or something else, and you want to get good at it, at jumping and doing different things and tips, then this is the perfect map exactly for training and experimenting. There will be about 15 to 20 levels, each of them will have a respawn point, so whenever you die, you can try again. Each level is unique and with a different jump, so by completing every single thing, you'll learn a lot of stuff which will help you in future and different maps. I would 100% recommend for all the new players to try this out. And having said that, that's it. I really appreciate it for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in comment section down below the next top 10 list or whatever you want me to make. Click like on this video if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And of course, don't forget to click subscribe to keep up to date with every video, top 10 list or whatever I make every single day. And guys, if you want to find even more parkour maps, head over to fortnitecreativehq.com and check them out for yourself. This is exactly the best website to find more. With that said, hope you enjoyed it. My name is Kate, signing out. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. Peace. Yo, I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'ma do it all for you.